What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Piano Mastery Sessions. My name is Darwin, and today we're going to be discussing a diatonic exercise that we're going to move ascending and descending. It's one of my favorites, and I hope it is going to be one of your favorites, too. It has to be. I mean, it's one of my favorites, so, you know, everybody likes what I like. So, yeah, let's get down to it. <sighs> okay, let's take a breather. Here is the voicing that we're going to be working with today. major seven and the three we're gonna move it up all the way to the ninth okay the bass being the ninth one two three four five six seven eight nine and back down we're also gonna be working then in fourths we got one the four of major seven and the major third we're gonna move this up as well because the possibilities are endless here, guys. When we're playing jazz or, or gospel or neo soul, and you want to throw in like something different and other than you know your regular, of course, you know your your regular harmony, which is fundamentals, and that's what we should play. But every now and then, you know, we we want to expand a little and throw in some different colors, like fours. <laughs> Time, we're gonna take it down a notch. One, two, you know what to do, and exercise. Alright, so yeah, you can use that in Neo Soul or Gospel. Alright, we're gonna do these in fourths. We got the C, we got the F, we got the B, we got the E. Alright, here we go. All the way up to the ninth, to the ninth. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Repetition is the mother of skill. A one, two, you know what to do, and... if you are enjoying this exercise moving on to the key of F major we got the one the five the major seven and the third here we go moving up 
diatonically. Let's just feel out the spaces. Move it up, move it up, move it up. And the fingers do not matter as long as you're not repeating fingers. You are good to go. All right, here we go. Here's a quarter note. One, two, three, four. in fourths. F, B flat, E, and A. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Guys, we're going to move this to the key of B flat major. Awesome, guys. Here we go. One, two, three. time one two you know what to do and Forts all the way to the ninth. In one, two, three. Beautiful, 
this is such a good workout I'm, I'm i'm enjoying this and i needed this um you know you can use this in jazz r&b gospel because you know the the options are really really limitless it's wherever you feel that you can add uh these chordal chords especially you know like that like you're doing like some bebop or hard modern jazz well probably yeah you may want to play a little cleaner than that but you know you can definitely do this also in the minor system For homework, I want you guys to do the E flat major. Go to A flat major. Do it in a circle of fours. D flat major, G flat major, B, E, A, D, G, and back home. Okay? And repetition is the mother of skill. So you may have to go a little slow in the beginning, only because the brain is teaching the body how to how to play this. Okay. Once the body knows how to play it and you have drill the back forward back and forward the body will actually know it better than the mind and you can just relax you'll see a chord and be like oh you know what i can do that you know you can you know you can definitely use that on command so if you have any questions if you have not subscribed actually please do subscribe um, and I do answer questions, comments. I appreciate the support for this new channel, guys. Uh, hit the like button or share the video with a friend. And uh, if you have any topics you'd like me to cover, let me know. All right? Cool. This is Piano Mastery Sessions, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.